Mike, there's no question the marquee matchup of the weekend is the Pats and the Ravens. Where is the game within the game that fascinates you? Well, I think it's going to be the reality. Can the Patriots throw the ball outside? I think I think this is going to be a key game for the Patriots to be able to get away from press coverage. The, the, the Ravens are a unique team in the sense that when they're in their nickel, they're in their best defense. When they can get to their sub stuff, then they can blitz and utilize all their scheme to put pressure on the quarterback. And their corners are the best part of the team. Kerry Williams, Ladarius Webb, and Jimmy Smith are the best players. It's when they're in their base defense that you can actually can run the football effectively on them. They're not the same team without Suggs in there. And you can throw the football much easier on them. So it's going to be interesting how the Patriots and how they play the Patriots. Last week, you know, last week we saw that the Cardinals play a nickel defense the entire game. And and we'll be interesting to see what Dean Peace has in store for the Ravens for the Ra- uh, for the Patriots this week. Hi, right, Mike. Uh, you're you're our expert. We count on you. This is why we give you the big dollars. This yeah. Ray, Ray you got to clear this Ray Horton thing up for us. What was he thinking? What what? what He's promoting himself. I mean, he, you know, look, guys are. I mean, did, did, if he knew it was run or pass, why didn't he know it was going to be a draw when Danny Whitehead scored the touchdown? I mean, those are just comical things. I think that's self-promotion. You know, guys get, get, get off on a tangent. And really, when you study the tape, I mean, and you really watch the game closely, I, I think the Patriots beat themselves more than the Cardinals did. And the Cardinals, we talked about last week, they have a really good defense. But there were some times, there were some plays, I mean, I mean, Tom, I mean, we can debate this all we want, but Tom overthrows Gronkowski for a touchdown. You know, that, that should be seven points points there they have ample opportunity to make plays they just didn't make them when they had the, the chance to make them and, and and unfortunately the cardinals did and that's right. why they were the victor back to ray horton though because you think this is self-promotion does he look good when he says you know we knew what they were doing and he's wrong by the way and he's, and, and people can clearly <laughs> go back and you know watch the film and, and look at the play-by-play well, and realize it, but but what, but, what? be but self-promotion he what? doesn't think anybody's going to do the checkup on him I and mean, he doesn't <laughs> understand we live in a world of people that you know if you put a comma on a tweet that's the wrong comma you'll get 10 tweets saying you know you're an idiot, you're an idiot you know, yeah. grammatical stuff so but what about what is how does this sit with belichick the, you know belichick and with josh mcdaniels and the patriots and how about just his colleagues around the league in general isn't this well, kind of I think they see it as most people would. I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but it's a little self-serving. And I, I think, look, nobody does a better job of of studying themselves than the Patriots do, because that's part of what you have to do. Hey, look, if we have a, if you don't have any tendencies on offense, you're not going to be any good. That's the reality of football. You get people have to know what you're going to do, but the reality you have to also have plays off of things that look like you're going to do, and, and clearly the Patriots do. I mean, when they finally got thrown the football, I mean, they came out sluggish and they didn't get things going with the interception early in the game. But I, I don't think it was because they were bothered by the scheme or they knew the plays. I think it was more of a lack of execution on, on, on the on the Patriots' part. Will Wilker be more involved? And if the answer to that is yes, is it because Hernandez is down or just the natural order of things that at some point they're going to go back to him for more? Well, I think it's because Hernandez will be down. And I think he'll have a, a bigger role because, with, look, when, when Wes Walker's at his best is when he's in the slot. But I've said this before. Aaron Hernandez is the best offensive player the Patriots have. He's the most unique player the Patriots have. He's like the basketball guy who could play point guard, small forward, power forward, and center. He can do all different things, and no one can really match up on him. So he's a unique player when they put him on the field, and he's best when he's in the slot. That's a tough matchup for teams. And Welker's best in the slot. So it's tough to have both guys in the slot. And if you want to play Hernandez and Gronkowski, you need outside receivers, and I think Edelman has proven to be a better outside receiver than Welker. Welker, that doesn't mean Welker's not a good player. Welker's always been a good slot receiver. It's just the utilization of the player and what the player can do best at a position where he can function the best. Sports Radio WEEI, now on 93.7 FM in Boston.